Hello and welcome to TechPlot360EX. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to use the variable combination dialog and the variable alias file made available in the 2017 R1 release of TechPlot360EX. In this tutorial, we will be loading and merging the variables of two files, one experimental wind tunnel results, and one with CFD for the Onera M6 wing. These are the same files used in the external arrow video on comparing data. In that video, we carefully named the variables to ensure they loaded properly. However, now in 2017 R1, we can try loading the test data directly. The first step in this process is downloading the data files directly from the NASA site, which provides information on the Onera M6 test data. Next, we will append this data directly to our already open CFD data available in the 360 installation. When we select the Append Data to Active Frame option, this opens the variable Load and Combine dialog, as the variable names do not directly match those of the existing dataset. We can see in the Variables to Load column all of the variables which exist in the CFD dataset, while the data from the incoming test data are on the left in Available Variables. There are actually two methods to perform the combination of variables. For the first, we will select CP in the Available Variables, and pressure coefficient from the variables to load column and select combine. This brings CP over and merges it with a semicolon to be loaded into the same variable. From there, we will select X over L, Y over B, and Z over L and click add selected, which will append these to the end of the variables to load list. It is possible to combine multiple variables simultaneously, but we are appending these rather than combining them with the existing X, Y, and Z variables as they have been normalized using the dimensions of the wing. At this point, we can select OK and go to Dataset Info to ensure the variables were loaded as instructed. The second method uses an alias file, an example of which can be found in the base directory of the TechPlot360 installation. This alias file is particularly useful when combining multiple variables at the same time. Here we have added CP semicolon pressure coefficient. And when we go through the appending process again, will be automatically combined when apply is selected. Note that we still have to add the normalized dimension variables. Both these variable combination methods can currently only be done while appending a single file at a time. This concludes the tutorial on the variable combination dialog and alias files. You can download a free trial of TechPlot360EX on our website, and thank you for watching.